Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. It's time for another unboxing and I am getting into some 10 gigabit ethernet here on the channel. We have a 10 gig port on my new Mac mini and I just found a switch that we'll be unboxing hopefully tomorrow uh, that will allow us to get that Mac mini interconnected with another computer that we're going to hook up with this device. This is the Akitio T310G. Uh, it costs about $178, and this is a 10 gig Thunderbolt 3 adapter uh, for your Ethernet. Now, it does consume a lot of power, I believe 15 watts. Uh, so as such, I don't believe this will work with uh, Thunderbolt 2 adapters. So you'll have to hook it up to only newer stuff. And what we'll do in uh, the course of our video is we'll try it out with both Windows and the Mac. They say it works with both. Now, this company was recently acquired by Otherworld Computing, so I think you'll probably see it with their, oops, sorry about that, uh, their branding soon. And it is not tiny. It's actually rather large, as you can see. And actually, most of these Thunderbolt adapters I've seen are about this size. Um, so let's get it unboxed here and see what it looks like. And I expect it to get pretty warm given the power consumption. So here you go. It's all metal. It's got a nice heat sink here on the top and the bottom. And the Thunderbolt 3 cable plugs in right there. It looks like it's got a little light that will turn on when it's going. It looks like they also have a Kensington lock slot there, too. I guess you don't want people walking off with your expensive 10G adapter here. And you might actually be able to peer inside of it. It looks like uh, it might be hard to see, but I'm guessing there's probably some kind of uh, PCI Express slot in there or something like that. But there you go, 10 gig compatibility. And they also give you the Thunderbolt 3 cable. Uh, this is bus powered, so you don't need a separate power supply. And what I thought I would do is hook it up to my Mac real quick and see how the installation goes. So hang on. All right, so we're going to now plug in this Thunderbolt cable. We have Ethernet attached here. Uh, we're not going to be able to do 10 gig until tomorrow when my switch comes in. So we'll just get it going with gigabit at the moment. Uh, so we're going to plug that in there and let's see what happens on the Mac. We should hopefully... Uh, see the Mac just come to life here with that Ethernet adapter because they said there's no drivers required for the Mac. And sure enough, uh, we've got a Thunderbolt uh, Ethernet port there, and it looks like it's connected and has itself an IP address. And if we look here uh, on the lights, you can see that it's blinking green. Apparently, any speed less than uh, 10 gigabit on this one will light up green. Otherwise, I believe it lights up orange if it is indeed uh, 10 gigabit. Uh, so you'll have to kind of check some of your other settings to figure out what speed you're at. But again, we'll be testing the 10 gig in the full review we'll be doing up on my main channel very shortly. But that seems to be it for installation. So let's take a look at Windows now. And one thing you need to do is look for the Aquantia driver on their website. It does require that. Uh, so I'm going to take out the cable that's attached to the network device here and plug it into our Thunderbolt port, which is on the other side of the computer here. And let's see what happens. Typically with Windows, you have to answer a little security challenge first to make sure that you really want to connect the device. Uh, so you have to wait for that Thunderbolt notice to pop up on screen, which we should see hopefully momentarily. There we go. We're going to click OK here and agree to the terms and let that get going. And hopefully that should do it. We're going to allow it to always connect and click OK. And it looks like we should see our... Uh, Ethernet here attach up shortly, and we should be in the same uh, situation, good situation, that we saw with the uh, Mac a few minutes ago. So let me let this do its thing, and we'll come back and make sure it's working. Okay, we are connected to Ethernet. It's the 14th Ethernet adapter I've apparently attached to this computer, and all seems to be working well. Uh, so no noise out of this. It seems to be pretty quiet. I think it's passively cooled, as you can see through it. Uh, but what we're going to be doing uh, very soon is having our 10 gigabit experiment on my main channel. One of the things we'll be looking at is how well we can do with the Cat5e cables that I have in the wall already. So we'll be doing a, a pretty fun look at this 10 gigabit technology and also uh, what it takes to get it to work. And I'm sure within three or four years, we'll have uh, these huge things shrunken down into little dongles, but for now you're going to have a rather large device to get the speeds we're hoping to get. So stay tuned, a lot more to come on 10 gig Ethernet on my main channel at lon.tv. And incidentally, I paid for this device with my own funds, as well as the switch we'll be looking at in the full review. Stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, 
the Four Guys with Quarters podcast. Tom Albrecht and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.